today, boys and girls, we have a book about one of my favorite things to learn about in the whole world, the solar system. Since we weren't able to do our unit on space before we had to leave school, I wanted to at least read you this book that tells you all about the planets in our solar system. So here we go. Solar System by Greg Vogt. live on a planet called Earth. Earth belongs to a very large family of eight planets and more than 150 moons. The entire family is known as the solar system. The Sun. At night we see many stars. During the day we see only one, the Sun. The Sun looks much larger because it is millions of times closer to us. In fact, the sun is the center of the solar system. The sun has gravity. Gravity is a force that attracts objects to one another. The sun's gravity pulls on the planets and forces them to travel around it. They follow paths called orbits. The sun's gravity keeps the solar system together. Here are some facts about the sun. It is 864,970 miles across. Wow. It takes 24 to 34 days for it to spin one time. It is made out of hydrogen and helium and its surface temperature is 64,000 degrees. Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. The side of Mercury facing the sun gets twice as hot as a kitchen oven, 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Venus. The second planet from the sun is Venus. It is nearly as large as Earth. Venus is covered with thick clouds. The sun's heat passes through these clouds and gets trapped at the surface. The trapped heat makes Venus the hottest planet. Venus is made of rock from volcanoes. Its surface is covered with lava. How do we know about Venus when we can't see its surface? Astronomers, scientists who study space, use spacecraft to learn about Venus. Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun. It is mostly covered with water. Earth is home to billions of plants and animals. There is life nearly everywhere you look. Earth is constantly changing. Winds blow across the surface. Water runs across the land and wears it away. Volcanoes spew lava and make new land. Earth's moon. The moon is made of rocks from volcanoes. Sunlight bouncing off its surface makes it look white. In 1969, the first humans landed on the moon. These astronauts returned with moon rocks. Then astronomers studied the rocks to learn about the moon. Astronomers think the moon was created during a collision. An object the size of Mars collided with Earth. Most of the object combined with Earth to make it bigger, but a chunk flew off, and this became the moon. Mars. Mars, the fourth planet from the sun, is reddish. Its surface is covered with rust-colored rocks and dust. Mars also has very large volcanoes. The volcano Olympus Mons is three times taller than Mount Everest on Earth. Mars has a thin atmosphere surrounding it, but there is not enough air for humans to breathe. If you went there, you would have to wear a space suit. Jupiter. 
Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun. It is the largest planet and is nearly 11 times wider than Earth. It is made of gas. Jupiter has a huge storm that swirls like a hurricane. The storm itself is twice the size of Earth. Astronomers have named it the Great Red Spot. Here it is. And you can see the Great Red Spot right there. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. It has thousands of narrow rings circling it. The rings are made of rocks, ice, and dust. More than 50 moons orbit Saturn. Astronomers keep discovering more. One moon, Titan, is wider than Mercury. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. Uranus is four times larger than Earth. Chemicals in the air make the planet look blue. Uranus is a sideways planet. It spins like all planets, but it's tilted on its side. For half of its orbit, Uranus's North Pole points toward the Sun. For the other half, the South Pole points toward the Sun. So instead of spinning like this, Uranus spins like this. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the sun. It is blue in color and about as large as Uranus. Neptune has forms like Jupiter's, but they are smaller. Neptune has several moons. The biggest is Triton. Astronomers have noticed that Triton is getting closer to Neptune. Millions of years from now, Triton could crash into Neptune. Asteroids. Thousands of asteroids orbit the sun. These rocks can be hundreds of miles across or the size of a house. Many asteroids orbit the sun between Mars and Jupiter. Comets. Far beyond Neptune are billions of chunks of ice called comets. Comets are usually a few miles wide. Sometimes a comet is bumped toward the sun. The sun's heat starts melting the ice. A long white tail of gas streaks out for millions of miles. There is one planet that I learned about that is not in this book, and it is called Pluto. I think they've decided that Pluto is a planet again. It was a planet, then the scientists decided that it wasn't a planet. Now I think they've decided it's a planet again, and recently they took a picture of it and look, Pluto has a heart on its side. It's one of my favorite planets. So I hope you enjoyed learning all about the solar system, and I hope tonight you'll be able to go out and see the moon and the stars and think about everything that you learned.